Hey folks, Jorge Meraz here on location. We are going to help you right now find the easiest route to get to the ready lane uh, on your travels back home. The route we're gonna show you should work in most traffic conditions, but if there's heavy border traffic, please check the description for alternate options. To use the ready lane, you must have an RFID enabled identity card, such as a US passport card, a Sentry border crossing or green card. Note, passport books and real ID driver's license cards are not eligible. More information below. And we're going to start, this is the launching pad, the last booth right next to Playa de Tijuana. So, off we go. So after going through the Playa's toll booth, we follow the road as it takes us around to go up and over the hills for about two and a half miles. We'll be exiting to the right. Look for the signs to San Diego Zona Rio. Take the exit and curb around under the bridge onto the Via Internacional, which will take you all along the border. Okay, we're gonna be on this road for about three miles. Make sure to stay in the left lane and ignore the signs that tell you to exit right to go to San Diego. This lane right here will put you onto the Via Rapida. We'll continue on this road for about three miles. Ignore this ready lane sign and others like it. Why? Because these signs actually point to a shorter route, but often the traffic is too backed up and access is blocked. So just stay with us here. We're about halfway to our next turn when you see this blocky gray Via Corporativo building. When you see this suspension bridge, you can slowly start merging over as we'll be exiting right after the curb. Exit right here. Look for this sign and you know the turn is just ahead. If you squint, it looks a bit like the old US Postal Service logo. You'll first make a right and then Take this lane to go up and over the bridge. It's tricky, so let's see that again from above. We take a right and then follow through this way to go up onto the bridge. Once we're on the bridge, it's easy. Just stay on your lane. It will force you to go left and put you back onto the Via Rapida towards the border. We need to merge left as soon as possible. Merge into the left lanes. We're literally in the lane right now, but there's one last detail I wanna show you. Okay, so I'm gonna get out of the line so you can see it. By the way, don't do this. Don't try to take a shortcut using this right lane and cutting in later. You won't be allowed back in and may get you a traffic violation. I'm just showing you the line. If you notice what's happening behind me right now, the officer's holding off traffic. The two lanes on the far left that he's holding off are the ones that actually go to the US. So you wanna be on those two lanes on the far left. As far as it goes, you need to reach the, the tail end of it and start your place in the queue. The reason they're holding the lane of border traffic is so that local Tijuana traffic can circulate through. Basically, it's a crisscrossing intersection with a human traffic light. When he's ready, then he's gonna release all of the people going to the US. Once you get by the traffic cops, just keep left at the divider here. Here's another angle. Keep left here. Once you're here, you're good to go. This aerial shot shows the ready lane all the way to the border. This video was made in partnership by Crossing South and Baja Bound. We'd also like to thank the City of Tijuana and the Smart Border Coalition. The next time you cross south, visit BajaBound.com, the easiest way to get Mexican auto insurance.